Hey guys, Moose and Trappers, Nick and Justin here today, out running our Thanksgiving line again. Uh, as you can see, we got a coon. We're at my uh, roommate Dylan's house in Fowlerville here. They got a lot of coons and uh, tearing up all their deer feed in their cornfields and stuff. So we came here yesterday, set some traps. We actually shot three of them while we were out setting traps. So here's the uh, first one of the check. So we'll dispatch them and take a look. Hey guys, out here checking the line still, coming up to our last trap here. It's like, uh, I don't know, November 20 something. Uh, this is the second one we got. That makes five total off this property now. Uh, yeah, warm weather here, nice warm up. Coons are moving pretty decent. Heading back home today to run some stuff back in Holland. So uh, we'll dispatch this guy and uh, we'll uh, carry on down the line or whatever. Hey guys, this is Mission Trappers Nick and Justin out here. We're setting these ponds today for muskrat. Uh, as you can see right down here, we got air bubbles and you can see the bank down through the ice right here. It uh, kind of, it almost, there's like a circle right here and then the rest of the sand's out there and these air bubbles are just a fantastic indicator. And if you can look under here, you can see that they've been feeding all up on this grass here. All that is muskrats cutting right there. And they got bank dens all the way down here here and I mean obviously bubbles is a great factor right here you can see that they're coming up here and the bubbles are right up where their bank den goes but bubbles and this grass underneath the key the big thing for under ice trapping is clear ice that you can see where the rats are moving because when you get honeycombed or or shit ice that you cannot see through it just makes it so much harder and you got to spend so much more time but here's one right oh right, right oh, there. there's a rat right there Oh, see? Oh, that's always a good sign, too. That helps. So we know there's most definitely a rat right here. Big rat, too. We probably spooked him. We're standing up top here, so this is their bank dens. But here's another one. Obviously, the rat swam up here and over here. I mean, this is just going to be a fantastic set here. Oh, there he is right there. Yep. See him? Yep. I don't know if I got him on video, but... Well, obviously rats always swimming is a good sign. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get this set up here and hopefully we'll have a real nice check video. There he is right there. He there he goes right there. I don't know if I got him or not, but we'll see. All right, well, we'll get this set up and hopefully we'll have some nice catches for you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the Michigan Trappers Nick and Justin here on our Thanksgiving line. Happy Thanksgiving to all our subscribers and viewers. Uh, first trap check of the new line we put out here. You got a nice... Nice big muskrat in the 110 in a bank den. We set a whole bunch of ponds last night, so we should have a pretty good check of bank dens because that's our main set that we threw down. Nice rat, but uh, yeah, we, this is the first trap. It's always nice to catch one on the first trap, so we're going to get this one reset here. Got a couple more to check in this pond and quite a few more sets to check today, so hopefully we have some nice catches to show you here on this lovely snowy Thanksgiving. Hey guys, we're here a little bit further down the line, and uh, we got ourselves another, another nice rat out of a bank den. You guys know how much we love bank dens. They're so, so simple, and so easy, and they produce a whole lot of fur when there's rats around, so. Yeah, this is our first little stop here along quite a line that we have out, so. Hopefully, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Nice Thanksgiving surprise. So, yeah. Can't complain, as you can see, all their feed right right where they were going into their into their bank den there is obviously a good indicator of some rat movement. It's all along this bank here, but this was really the only only good den that we found in here. But you can, I mean it's obvious. I and mean, we just tuck it right up under there too, so it really wedges in there so they have nowhere to go other but through your trap. Stake her down and collect your prizes. Hey guys, we're here uh, checking a new pond. Walked up in the first trap here. I can see a nice muskrat tail sitting there. Oh, he must have been sitting inside the den when we set that because he was coming out. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of pink dens here to set. And we, this is the pond that we saw two rats swimming while we were setting. We scared them out of their bank dens, which is once again always a good sign. But this is uh, 
Now this is our first bank then that we found is right here and hopefully we can have a nice continuous producer right here because that's a nice little it's a real nice little pocket there a nice bank down in there as Michigan Trappers Justin here with Nick still out checking the line we set this what we thought to be glorious pond yesterday she has been a little disappointing although there's air bubbles everywhere so come up to this set here and uh get another rat that's number two off the pond and four total today uh we got some more sets on that side and that side's usually been better historically so we'll see what happens but we know there's a good bit of rats here so we'll uh we'll do some resetting here move a few traps around and See if we can't catch a couple more here in the next couple days. Hey guys, we're here at a new spot now, checking uh, like a little marsh type area with a bunch of huts. Got a little feed feeder hut here. I can see some snow on a rat right here. Nice rat too. As you can see in a stop loss, which worked phenomenally. No leg damage and I'm sure he drowned right away. Usually they don't, their leg is pretty messed up. so. Yeah, there's five for the day here in our first first day check of the Thanksgiving line, getting it out a little late this year, but what can you do? So yeah, we're gonna this is first first trap here, so we will continue on checking and we got a nice big hut coming up over there that hopefully we'll have a couple of rats on, so hopefully we'll be able to show you some catches over there. Hey guys, Michigan Trappers Justin and Nick here, still out checking the line today on this snowy Thanksgiving day and uh, we got a little push up feed bed feed hut here I should say and uh, you can't tell right now because it's covered with snow but they were coming up and feeding on a little feed pile right here and we actually ran out of footholds so I plugged a 110 in there and uh, got us a pretty nice big rat so that makes number six on the day and I think that's all our traps so we'll uh, head home and eat some good food and check tomorrow and see what happens Hey guys, it's Michigan Trappers here checking the uh, water line day two here, day after Thanksgiving. Uh, we broke through the ice here, as you can see we got a nice, nice rat in a 110 in the bank down again. Uh, plenty of dry snow now to dry them off, which is just awesome. Because snow just makes everything easier. But, <laughs> we're just shoving these 110s in the bank down like we always do. Too easy for, for rats. So we got some more traps coming up right down here and hopefully we'll have a few more to show you. Hey guys, Michigan Trappers here. We're checking this little stream. We put a colony trap in right here. And see we got a muskrat. Nice rat too. The colony trap in these little streams is kind of just the way to go, just in case. I mean you could catch one or you could catch four, you never really know how many you're gonna get. So if you have the option to place a colony trap in these little streams, I don't, I mean, it's it's going to be your best choice. All I did for this one was, we just tucked it right in, right there, right where that weed line comes across. And then we put our stake coming across this side of the river, so they would feel the need to swim underneath that right there. And then the colony trap, and he was coming upriver here, so I'm sure there's a couple more in here, so hopefully we can get a few more this weekend before we have to pull traps so there's two for the day gonna carry on here got a couple more traps to check 